Hi guys, this is Amin and in the previous video we talked about uh, 1602 LCD with uh, the four data pin and I2C two different ways. In this one we're going to talk about 20 multiplied by 4. So 20 to 4 LCD. So that LCD is uh, bigger, it has more characters and we can have more characters on that when we, when we would like to print out more data. How we're gonna do that, let me remove my face. So what do we have here? I, I have a thing in my brain that I always say, let's keep it simple. So if you want to keep everything simple, the VCC one, we know that from the previous video, so the I2C, it only has four pins. The VCC will be connected to this one, which has five volts. The ground will be connected to the ground one and SDA and SCL to this one, GP0 and GP1. So if I put it here, it will be what we want. There are two mandatory repositories for that. The first one is this one, LCD API, and the other one is Pico I2C LCD. So we have them from the previous video, we're good. Then the other one is the LCD address. Um, this one, the LCD address, Look at that. If you can remember in the previous video I showed you, if I run it, it tells me the hexadecimal address of the LCD. So here it is where that I have, so let's start from the beginning. I have the this one, so import the I2C, then import time, then the other one. So we do need LCD address. If you can remember or if you're following along the videos, in the previous video, which was 1602, we had the script in the middle of the main script, get the LCD address and put it there. So this one, the approach is different. I put it uh, separately, then get the number and put it in the uh, script. But I mean, in general, always um, I would say you get this number, but it's good to check it out. Let's, okay, let's come back to that code. Here we have this, now look at that. The difference between the other one is that we're gonna say the number of the rows and columns. Here we, we mention them and we add these numbers here. It is what we didn't have in the previous one. Same as that one, I added like a help, some commands here uh, that you can light on off the LCD, you can move the character. And this one is a cool part of that code if I if we just navigate to this website I will put the link below we can have our custom character let's say we would like to have a tree I'm not sure if I'm drawing a tree but yeah let's say something like that or maybe arrow it's not a tree and if I click on hex here so it tells me the code that I can have it in my main code like that. So if I put the code here in this format, like byte array, and it needs a little modifications, but just the important part is this one. Then when I run it, as you can see on the, let me show it here. As you can see here, it is like that. So all is good. I mean, we are having our text. And the other one that I showed in the previous video, if I just uncomment this part and I run it, even you can have something like that. It goes like that and you know, it works, it works. So here, what, what the difference is between this one and the, the previous one, the size of the screen is bigger. We have more characters and that concept, putting character and shapes are the same. You, we can do that in, the other one but in this one we're gonna have more characters and also some of them are already let me stop this one if I comment this one out like uh, this if I come here let's say I'm gonna add my question mark and look at this one and I run it so this one is the question mark that is 
it has by default and this one is the question mark that I made. You can customize your characters totally on your own and it's the cool part of that. So I guess all in all we're done with the LCD videos. See you in the next video.